Hello everyone, welcome to another exciting math problem involving number theory and factorization, which is perfect test for beginners. Here is the problem. Find the least possible integer n such that 2 to the power of 2024 plus 2 to the power of 2027 plus 2 to the power n is a perfect square. I believe it is difficult to check the answer using a calculator directly as the number involved is huge. Before we uncover the solution, I encourage you to hit the pause button, grab your pen and paper, and give it your best shot. When you're ready, feel free to share your answers in the comments. Then we'll explore the solution together. Let's get started. Suppose this expression represents a perfect square, call it m square. Then 2 to the power of n equals m square minus 2 to the power of 2024 minus 2 to the power of 2027. Note that the two terms in base 2 can be combined as 2 to the power of 2024 times 1 plus 2 to the power of 3. Since 1 plus 2 to the power of 3 is 1 plus 8, which is 9, or equivalently 3 square, the expression is of the form x squared minus y squared, which can be factorized as x plus y times x minus y as shown. Now, we can write 2 to the power of p as m plus 2 to the power of 1012 times 3, and 2 to the power of n minus p as m minus 2 to the power of 1012 times 3, where p is greater than n minus p, and both p and n minus p are integers. Now we label the two equations as equation 1 and equation 2. Consider equation 1 minus equation 2. We obtain 2 to the power of p minus 2 to the power of n minus p equals 2 times 2 to the power of 1012 times 3. For the left hand side, it is 2 to the power of n minus p times 2 to the power of 2p minus n minus 1. And for the right hand side, it is 2 to the power 1013 times 3. This implies that 2 to the power of n minus p equals 2 to the power of 1013. And 2 to the power 2p minus n minus 1 equals 3. Which is equivalent to saying 2 to the power 2p minus n is 4, which is 2 to the power 2. With this, we have n minus p as 1013 and 2p minus n as 2. Sum up these two equations and we get p equals 1015 and hence n equals 2028. So far, it looks good. The only question is n equals 2028 the least value or is there any more different integer n that fulfill the condition? Please tell me your thoughts in the comments. That concludes today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for more exciting math challenge in the future. Until next time, take care and bye-bye.